Well, hey, you fuckers. Welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I'm Nick. I'm Brad. We're going to talk about some shit. We're here to talk about some shit, man. Here we are with some shit to yeah. talk about yet again. That's once to more into the shit. Back at it. You know what I mean? Tag team, back again. Once more into the shit. I already said that, but that's all I got. Oh, so cool. Um, uh, that's where I'm at, you know, is... Repeating things. Yeah! yeah I'm yeah. on that lev, short for level. <laughs> Dude, I ident, short for identify. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Um, we're sitting here in my garage that I am uh, currently trying to sell. Uh, this, the whole house, including the garage. This garage is for sale, comes with a uh, attached household. An entire house. Yeah. I want someone to buy it. Um, so what in the fuck is going on with you, Brad? Uh, you know, just here to talk about some shit. Um, right here on the terrible podcast, I'm Nick. Right here, I am Brad. And we're going to talk about some shit. Uh, there was, um, there was one day recently where I almost like shit myself. Like in real life? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, It was almost, and it was one of those like, right when you're supposed to be waking up. And then you do wake up, but you, it's because you have to shit. But for a split second, you're like, you know, is this a fart? Because most of them are. <laughs> Any regular bowel symptom is like you're asleep and you're like, is this a fart? All right, back to sleep. Wow. Or you just do it and stay asleep. I'm not, it's, you know, if I knew everything I did in my sleep, uh, I'd, that would be probably a weird thing to know. But um, anyways. You should set up a camera. I should. Yeah. Just so that I and find some microphones. out. That's the thing. I want to know how many times I fart and don't even... Like, it doesn't even bring me to a different stage of sleep. I'm just in the same one. It's all good. But he's like, don't even worry about it. I bet you're, you're at, le- at the very least, your body rattles and you go like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you convulse real quick. <laughs> what? And, like, recoil. This your is your body like has to... to react to your secret nighttime fart. The way I picture that with the way you described it is not, it's, I don't know way creepier and way it seems like an unnatural reaction to a fart fair enough and so like i don't think you'd be like <laughs> you know what i mean like you don't like have a mini seizure in your bed for a second and make some wild noise and then fart a little bit like i imagine you just like roll over and you're like <laughs> and then you're still asleep because then you rolled over and it's kind of just one whole thing right so there. you roll over and you play a trumpet real quick <laughs> yeah <laughs> or like you get a good one like this you roll over and it goes Dude, and then that's that those you know what i mean yeah it's just a nice soft little kiss those are the ones where you know something's coming and you're like this should be funny and then it doesn't make a sound so it kind of like doesn't count. Yeah. How about you know? those damn it farts when you're fully conscious and you're like, all right, dude, I'm going to really, you know, get a good scene out of this fart, get a reaction one way or another. And uh, then you try to let a nice one rip and it doesn't. It just falls apart. And you're like, oh, and then you're just sad and you smell. <laughs> and it's like, you know, what worse situation uh, okay, wait. So is I'm sorry. In, is what I was gonna say, but there are several worse situations than farting on yourself and nobody knowing about it. Dude, were you saying that you almost shit your pants? Oh yeah, that's where I started. I almost shit my pajamas. You were close. <laughs> Do you wear jammies? I had Jamie bottoms on. Wow, I had some bottoms on. No, that's a normal thing. I shouldn't try Jamie. to make fun of. Like it. I wore those for like yeah. the last two hours I was awake. Dog, I just sleep in boxer briefs. I mean, sometimes I just sleep in my drawers. Sometimes I sleep in with some bottoms on. Sometimes I sleep with the top on. You know what I mean? It's, I mix and match it. Just depends on how I want to groove in the bed. Wow. Like, do I want <laughs> do I want to wear a blanket and then have my comforter, or do I want to wear nothing and have my comforter? You know what I mean? And every layer in between. Um. So the layer that you went with was PJ pants. And you almost pooped in them. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, a little bit. I had uh, a loose action down there and didn't realize it. And it was like, oh! I had one where I went, oh! 
<laughs> and uh, it's one of those what? that like you you like you think a little bit may have got out, but you just hold it in your pocket. Is Dude. what I'm gonna call it. Do you know exactly what I'm talking about? Don't you? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You, it's enough to just hold it in your pocket, and you squeeze it all the way. You keep it clenched all the way to the bathroom, and then you let it rip, and you check yourself, and you're like, "Oh, okay, thank goodness." You know what's this awesome? Is just a regular that I just realized is uh, I started the show off by saying we were gonna talk about some shit, and yeah. then that's all we've done so far. Yeah, is talk about some shit. That's a shit story. Uh, so. Okay, I have I have something. I'll All talk right. about some shit real quick. Okay. Hold on, dude. Let me roll up my sleeves and tell you a shit story. I want to hear it. Uh, okay. Hopefully it's not too shitty of a story. <laughs> it's right. fairly right. shitty. I uh, right. the, 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 So like third, maybe fourth grade, I was waiting for the bus at my house. Okay? And we lived on this big hill. A very long driveway. Are you at the top of the hill or the bottom of the hill? I'm at the very bottom of the hill waiting for the bus. Yep. Um, I have a little gas. A little bit of gas. I fucking trust her. Yeah. And I let go. And as soon as I did, I realized, uh uh-oh, it wasn't just a little bit of gas. You got a little little more. I realized that I have a situation that I need to handle. Like there may have been a little more material in that cloud than you thought. I turn around. And I look, I look at my house. It's far up that hill. And I'm like, I'm just going to go for it. And as soon as I start to walk up the, the hill, uh, I see my bus pulling up to my house. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I, I ha- I'm in a dilemma, right? I... I I have this little fucking jelly bean rattling around in my underwear. Okay. It's a little jelly bean. Okay? Yeah. And why, then there's the fucking bus. And why didn't she go why didn't she go inside? What made you decide against that? Um besides like there's the bus, like you could okay. be like, all right, I'll be thirty seconds late for the bus if I can just shake this fucking nugget. Uh you my know. mom was already at work, okay? Yeah. I, I couldn't Maybe I could have just, when the bus pulled up, I could have been like, hey, bus driver. Her name was June. Shout outs, June. June. June, what's up? Shout outs. S.O.'s to you, bro. And uh, I could have just been like, June, listen, man, I I got this little fucking jelly bean in my underwear, right? I, just let me go upstairs real quick. I'll handle this jelly bean. But I was a small child, and I was terrified, and I had shit in my pants, right? And, yeah. and essentially... A busload of my friends had just pulled up seconds after I had shit my pants. Yeah. Okay? So so, <laughs> so I, I couldn't run upstairs because what am I going to do? Be like, wait. And then they yeah. leave. And then I have to call my I mom. I forgot my math book. Also, side note, I was notorious for calling my mom in the morning being like, well, I'm sick. I shouldn't go to school. And she's like, yeah, you should probably go to school. So, like, I knew that wasn't an option. <laughs> so, anyway... Long story short, I just get on the bus with my shit pants, right? Okay. With my little I'm fucking still jelly bean. Wearing my dirty Listen, pants. Listen, it, it's 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 rattling around in my tiny underoos, right? Yeah. I can just feel it. You're like a pinball the wizard enti- in your tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I my my more than likely ding, 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 ding. World Wrestling Federation print underoos are filled with my little tiny jelly bean just floating around, rattling around in there. Mm-hmm. And I do the whole bus ride to school, and I fucking get to school, and I handle the situation, and, and everything turned out fine. But, dude, I'm just telling you, it was one of the worst, uh, what, hour spans of my life oh, yeah. is the time that I shit my pants right before the bus pulled up, and I couldn't When did you come it. up with a plan? To, like, get rid of it. Like, were you on the bus? Like, all right, now when I get to school, I'm going yeah. to go to the bathroom Dude. and then take this nugget. <laughs> I, w- I was on the bus you know and just and just pretending, you know? My uh, my friends are like, hey, man, did you uh, watch fucking whatever the other day? Did you watch Monday Night Raw the other night? And did I'm you like, watch yeah, Monday no. Night Raw the yeah. other night? Yeah, no, Let's no, talk no, about no. stuff. No shit in my pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, not only did I watch it, but I also did not just shit my yeah. pants right before you picked me up. Um, but it, the whole time in the back of my mind, I'm like, all right, dude, what am I going to do? 
Hey, any of you guys got minute. shit in your pants? <laughs> you guys know how, like, sometimes <laughs> you just <laughs> shit your pants and it's uh, not a big deal? You could have just pulled a trick that I used at a St. Paddy's Day party when I was in high school and just been like, and this is, I did it with puke, but this will be wow. to your, uh, applied to your story. You could have just been like, who shit their pants? <laughs> <laughs> and then you know everybody would have thought it was somebody else, dog. I so, did something similar, but not with my butt at a party <laughs> in high school. <laughs> Dude, somebody destroyed that bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> boy, we'll get to that. Is there more to your poop story? Like, how'd you get rid of that thing? I, I, I as soon as I got to school, I ran to a stall and I just fucking kind of like peeled the back of my underwear back and just kind of pap papped it out of there with with my other hand right like it was a Cirque du Soleil performer off yeah. a trampoline yeah I made a little tiny trampoline out of my again 100% certified WWF uh, printed underoos and just kind of fucking pap, pap, just papped that little jelly bean out of there yeah. and it was bouncing on that raw as war logo like it was the mat <laughs> man just the bloop right out of there dude stone cold Steve Austin I'm super sorry but it's probably you. <laughs> um, so that's that's me talking about some shit. That's pretty rad. Yeah, that happened to me once. That's I. Uh, I mean, you made some brash decisions. Decisions. You made, made some brash decisions, but you got the job done. You made some brash distilleries. <laughs> Fucker. Listen, you made some brash distresses. Welcome to the fucking... So fucking... And there's that. That happened to me, and... It, there was and some I... wild decision-making going on, and yeah. you rode that thing out, and you got the job done, ultimately. Did anybody Did anybody else ever say anything about any no. poo smell or anything? No, dude. It, it was amazing, because the whole time I was um, metaphorically shitting my pants at the thought of somebody finding out that I actually shit my pants. Yeah. Uh, and nobody ever found out, and and then I uh, I just kept it to myself until I mean pretty much just now. Uh, anyway, okay, so people that I went to school with back then, remember that one day that I was just off? It's because I shit my pants that day. There you go. Everybody's been just fucking lying awake at night <laughs> thinking about why was Nick Pedigo off that one Dude, day. Dude, how is Nick Pedigo doing lately? Third, I remember that grade. one time in fifth grade. Dude, he just, he kind of looked like he shit his pants or something. There was something just yeah. off about that guy. He kind of smelled like shit too, but yeah. nobody said anything. Anyway, don't worry about it. Cause it was I just fucking, that one day. I fucking pap papped it up out of there, Brad. He pap papped it up out. Hey, man. Just a little pit a pip right on out of there. ba -doing. <laughs> just like w that wacky radio sounds brought to you. <laughs> dude I went, I went up into the bathroom stall and i was like K -k -k <laughs> oh man um so yeah all right that's cool man yeah i was uh i was at a saint patty's day party this was like one of the first saint patty's day parties i ever went to one of the, i think it was the first kegger i had ever gone to so you were taking it very seriously. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and I was like, I was 15 or 16 because I remember like people were just getting their licenses. I know I didn't drive there. I rode with my my guy B. Rye. Shout outs to Brian. Brian. Creek Nation. Shout outs. Uh, Shout outs to Brian. And uh, rode out there with him. And there was a bunch of uh, our friends out there and shit. Anyways, got super drunk and was hanging out in the basement and was like, oh, oh yeah, no, everything's cool, man. And these guys were starting to play music off in the other room, which uh, was right by the stairs. So, side note, that is what Brown, Brad, Brad sounds like when he's drinking. Yeah. He exactly starts going, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so then... Um, so these guys are playing their music right by the stairs and shit, and I'm off in this other room, and then I realize, like, I got a bomb. So I look around, and I can see that there's, like, a door over here that leads to what doesn't look like a bathroom, and a door next to it that leads to what does look like a bathroom. I can see a sink in there. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh. And I ask somebody, I'm like, hey, is that a fucking bathroom, man, or whatever? And they're like, oh, yeah, but it's, like, all fucked up. You can't, like, I'm like, oh, damn it. 
I'm like, well, here it comes. So then I start, I, I go towards the stairs um, and uh, I get to the top of the stairs and the door to the basement's closed and I'm like, oh, fuck. And it starts, it's, I'm like, here, it has arrived. It's coming. Point. The eagle is landing. Sure. Um, so like my mouth God, fills that's, up. That's the worst. And then feeling. I cover my mouth and it's sunflowers. <laughs> what? It's sunflowers. You know when you're vomit sunflower. Have you ever like puked through your hand because like you're like I gotta keep this in, and then it comes out anyways. Like I it mean, escapes yeah. your mouth and then starts to spray through your fingers. Yeah, I've thrown up a lot. Of so <laughs> it just filters through your fingers and it's like oh that's sunflowering is what that so is. So you, you had all these. Fucking sunflowers flying out of your mouth. Yeah, so my face turned into a, a vomit sunflower. And you're um, saying, and you're saying, excuse me for a minute, guys. Thank you. No, there was nobody else at the steps. Oh, I okay, made it good. like I was the only person on the dark stairs. <laughs> the thank, dark stairs. thank fucking god. Yeah, yeah like the the odd fluorescent lighting in the basement didn't start till the bottom of the steps. So lucky for me that nobody saw this. Um, so I get to the top of the stairs, doors closed, I'm like, oh shit, and then I sunflower with my vomit, and then I get through the door, and I go around the corner to the bathroom, and I get in the bathroom, and I'm like, as I'm turning on the light, the next wave comes out. Um, so I just scan the bathroom with it at this point, so I go from right to left, and this was a half bath in a hallway. It was tiny, so I got all the surfaces. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from from right to left i just scanned that thing and went over the vanity and then against the wall and then finally to the toilet i'm like oh there's a toilet you were like a paint sprayer yeah dude straight yeah. up uh and i'm like blah, 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 and i got it all out <laughs> and that's what i sound like when i'm on it too i go blah, 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 and then that's it <laughs> then we're all good <laughs> Alright. You guys will be ready. Right. Oh, 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 God, I'm fucked. <coughs> there it is, yeah. So that's what happened. I <laughs> all over that bathroom, found the toilet, made it in there for the last bit of whatever, and I was like, oh, dude. Turned around and, like, cleaned myself up in the mirror. Shut the light off, close the door, go back out to the party that's in the kitchen at the top of the steps, and I'm feeling better now. Sure. And I'm like, Always. dude, I don't know what happened, but, like, Somebody puked all over that fucking bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, what? Oh, man. And then the, like, the guy whose place it was like got up with a thing of paper towels and like opened the basement door. And he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. And he starts cleaning that up. And I'm like, yeah, I don't even know. That. That's cr- I don't even know. Whoever did that's a fucking asshole. Am I right? <laughs> And then I, went outside, story, then I went outside and sat by the fire with my buddy Jordan the other night. Shout out to Jordan. Jordan, what's up? I don't up? know if you Shout remember out, sitting at that fire uh, in Waverly <laughs> when I probably pissed everybody off. That Dude. was not from New Berlin <laughs> because <laughs> that is I vomited morally... all over this person's house and then blamed it on a ghost. <laughs> you, you know did. what I mean? You just said, oh man, somebody is a terrible guest. Uh I just guess that's so truth. You know. That's <laughs> the truth. I just didn't. And it's me. <laughs> I'm the one. You left that little bit of truth out. Yeah. No, that's awesome. The next time I destroy somebody's bathroom, it's going to throw a ghost under the bus, dude. Yeah. Well, you just got to make sure there's plenty of people there. So it's like, whoever did it, they're not going to root them out unless it was obviously me and they gave me a pass that night. Dude. You know what I mean? Fuck, I love that story, man. Like, they very well could have just beat my ass if they knew if it was me. That seems a little harsh, doesn't it? Like, hey, man, I had a really good time, maybe too good of a time, and then I vomited, and I'm sorry. And then they're like... That's not what I did, though. Well, I know, I'm just saying, but, you know... That's not what I did. What I did was... Hey, man, somebody puked, like, everywhere, bro. (laughs) All right, yeah, you go ahead and clean that up. I'm gonna watch, and then like, yeah, okay, yeah. And on then se- if, on second thought, yeah, they probably. And should've. then if they're like, yeah, no, it was definitely that guy. Like they really could have just beat me up, but instead, like I hung out at the fire with Jordan. I think everything was cool. And then I remember awesome. riding home in in Brian's car, like falling asleep <laughs> in the back seat, dude. Not being able to look at the road because it made me nauseous. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, morally irresponsible, uh, ethically reprehensible, Brad. That's what you are. I was a child. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Dude. I was a child who ingested a bunch of alcohol. And it's... it was your first caker. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 fine. Dude, I was such a 
moron when I was at, around that age, just like kind of like late teens, just starting to party. Yeah. I was like, oh, just drink all this beer, even though I hate beer right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Beer is the worst thing. Still you know, fa- fast forward several years, I, I love beer. I've drank several this evening, yes, as a matter of fact. He does enjoy beer. Um, but, you know, you first start out and it's the grossest thing, but everybody around you is drinking it and they all seem fine. And seem like they're having fun. Yeah, it's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to be a bitch? Dude? Yeah, and look at you now. I'm not a bitch anymore. No, because you're drinking beer. No, I really like beer. Check it out. That's me drinking a little bit of fucking beer. And I really enjoyed it. Is that's the thing. What, that's, you should have seen him light up as it flowed over his lamp. <laughs> I, I, you can I, I, watch I really him. like beer. I really mm-hmm. like beer. Just to watch this guy bask in the glory. Hey, we should pause for uh, advertisers real quick. All right. We'll be right back we'll after right these back. messages. I am Brad. I'm Nick. Wermanamernam. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, it's not. It's not br- brought to you by anybody. No. Um, not currently. Dude, it would sound so cool, though, if we had sponsors and we could say, yeah. hey, real quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about fucking Meatbox. Yeah. It's the, it's the it's company that sends meat. you meat. Yeah, and I'll be like, I tried a box of meat this week, and it was a great bu- meat box. I just was like, meat, 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 meat. Meatbox.com. Hey, man, I, you know, I, I know you hear this on a lot of podcasts, but just so you know, I, I, I really love Meatbox.com. They're always sending me quality meats that I cook. Uh meat box and it turns out quality box as well um everything you need from meatbox.com meat box call 1-800 meat box we got the meat oh no that's arby's that's arby's yeah use promo code meat bx oh yeah no we uh our promo code would be what terrible yeah yeah use the promo code terrible so what really happened was we'd get just shitty ones later on and it'd be like use the promo code people yeah fucking Fucking P cast. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking TPcast.com. Type in TPodcast.com and you'll get a fucking candy bacon mm. ham made of bacon. Meatbox.com promo code Bradnick and you'll get a fucking ham with eggs on it. Bradnick. Uh, I, I just had to pee really bad. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, no, he That's urinated. That's fucking stupid. I don't know if we had any kind of momentum going. That was like five minutes ago. I don't know what we were talking about. I think we we had just come off uh, we had just come off of my drunk party and beginning the party shit there. Oh yeah, where I puked all over that house. God, that is uh yeah, that's my favorite story maybe about you. And I wasn't even there for that, dude. It's it's no, <laughs> you weren't. I've been around for some good things. Yeah, that you've, done. you've seen you've seen some stuff, I guess. Um, you probably remember them better than I do. I mean, yeah, most of them that are. There was know. the one where I fainted into the barn. Yeah. <laughs> pizza, and pizza then, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. After that, you weren't hilarious. No, that but, was my peak. Yeah, you peaked at like eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. That right. was the, that was oh, twenty. Hey, fuck actually. me, right? That was the day before fuck I turned me, twenty. Right? Cause I'm a so, bitch. So like, get it right, dude. Fuck me because I'm a bitch. Yeah. Bitches get fucked, I guess, in your world. This show is graphic. We started off talking about shit. Yeah. Boy, this one's just all about curse words. And now I'm just, yeah, saying bad words. Like, (laughs) aggressively, too, dude. Mm -hmm. Fuck me, because I'm a bitch. You bitch shit. Wow. Shit fucker. I need to settle down, bro. Fucker tits. (laughs) You know, that's where we're at. That's what this is. <laughs> that's where fucking, I'm at. That's dog. where we've descended. Mm-hmm. Like, this is oh, probably the fourth or fifth circle of hell at this point. I just need to fucking bring it down. Just fucking <laughs> come all the way up. I need to be all the way down. I'll just whisper for the rest of the podcast. This guy's only I'll got just, two directions. I'll just try to sound like the Joker. <laughs> Great. I don't know. Oh, I kind of, I kind of caught myself doing that. And now now I, it's going to be Joker and the Quiet Guy. Now I'm having in the fun. Fucking corner. That's me, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. This is Joker and the Quiet Guy. 
in the morning. I don't know when you're listening to this. I don't know what fucking time it is in your world right now. I just want you to listen to this. I don't care what time it is. Yeah. I don't care if you even listen. I just want you to click on this, Yeah. Dude. Um, and also listen, probably. Like it for the material, folks. I mean, this is not about the money. Yeah. At least not yet. Love me I for mean, me. I mean, someday... Is, oh just, god fingers crossed the day we can fucking like syndicate or whatever and sell out or maybe we could do like joe joe rogan does shout outs joe rogan shout outs. oh joe shout outs met you several weeks ago no i didn't but, oh uh, <laughs> I, I, I thought that was gonna be a great story dude it uh been. jamie pull up that time that uh neek met joe rogan okay no <laughs> we don't have a jamie it'd be great if we did we would uh joe can we borrow your jamie anyways <laughs> fucking <laughs> We could do that's like I don't know if he gets like YouTube revenue and shit like that. Like he has to, you know what I mean? There's a because I watch this podcast on YouTube. I know they've got a lot of views, and it's like you just get a little bit of ad revenue off, off that, and that's like great. I think that's fucking great because his podcast is great. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, he he deserves it and has earned it. I do not think either of those things are true about us. <laughs> someday man yeah someday. this is the new dream someday this will be a quality show this is the new dream we did the band thing man now we're to the next level podcasts Dude, in the garage bro. check it out this is some next level shit right now we, we did the band thing and then we did sketch comedy for oh, a while yeah and i mean i'd say we still do that just because i haven't decided that we don't oh yeah no that's you know not over I mean? i'm just saying like you know, the natural next step for us is oh, yeah, pod, to try to do fucking a fucking podcast. Take over the internet. You everybody know everybody I mean? has a podcast. And now we do as well. Um, Dude. And that's great. I, um, Jeff so Daniels' uh, stunt double from Arachnophobia has a podcast. That's fucking cool, dude. Yeah. That movie ruined me as a person. That's fucked. Yeah, man, I don't like spiders because of that movie. Because shout outs to mom. Uh, like, I got to see a lot of awesome horror movies when I was a kid, but arachno- arachnophobia was one of them. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that one didn't sit well, man. Just burning a house down because of spiders. Like, spider crawling out of Kathy Bates' nose. Shout out, Kathy Bates. Oh, Kathy Bates. Spider out your nose. Shout out, Kathy Bates. And like,. Jeff Daniels and spiders that eat birds and then spiders that fuck on people and then spiders just basement, the electricity fire, and then uh, the movie's on. over. Hold you on. know what I mean? Hold on, though, buddy. Ooh, look at that window. Ooh, look at spiders. And so then, like, like oh, 10 shit. seconds ago, did you say spiders that fuck on people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Do they? Yeah, I mean, well, they gotta fuck somewhere, and that movie was all about them being on people. Here, here's the deal is uh it's been a while since i've seen that movie uh, oh dude there's a total spider fuck scene where they just do it on people it's crazy that's wild yeah that's wild i don't just another part of the graphic nature of that fucking film and why it ruined me i'm like holy shit yeah i don't know if that guy really has a podcast by the way it'd be cool if he did I mean, I would like to hear stories I'd from be behind the it. scenes. If he invited me on it, I'd be like, so tell me about the time with those spiders. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and there you go. You know, Were they trained? Do you go like, here, pep, 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 and then you hold a fly in front of it? Were they working spiders? Yeah. Or were they shoot spiders? Like, how much, how much do you pay that spider an hour? I bet I can do a better job. Dog. <laughs> dog who's your spider guy dog mickey wallace hey um <laughs> you know who else has a podcast who's that uh amanda Bynes is a uh, hairdresser oh there's a podcast well that is uh i imagine that's dog. a real attention getter keeper you want to know? know how i would describe i imagine it's fucking enthralling is what I'm saying. It's probably like RuPaul's Drag Race, and you just can't. You're like, oh man, I love this. She's like, and then one day we parted it on the right. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the whole show's glitter, and I love it. Um. So no, you know she who's doesn't. got a podcast? Who? Bozo's hair. Oh, <laughs> holy fuck! Bozo the clown. His hair, not just some random bozo on the street. 
his, that uh, would be fucking stupid. His hair always reminded me of like half of a sombrero. I was yeah. like, this guy. But at least it's the fun half. Parties at Chi Chi's. Because I was a little kid, and when I went to Chi Chi's for my birthday, they would put a big hat on my head. Yeah, That's no. The only... Fun fact. Yeah. Is you're not far off in that way of thinking. The way he did his hair like that was after he got it all, you know, almost ready. When he got to his blow dry stage, he'd put a sombrero on and then blow dry from underneath. And that gave him his shape. You guys, you guys couldn't see what I just did, but I did a hand motion no, of blow drying sense. underneath from the bottom. I can never tell if you're telling me something real or not. This here. is 100% legit. Are you serious? Yeah. What did he do? Wear like four golf visors on his fucking head? No, Dude, he took a sombrero. That is so cool and for me. Just fucking... Because literally all my life I've been like, that's like sombrero. Well, the sombrero clown. let the air kind of pass. It wasn't okay. It was a, a woven, like a hay woven sombrero. It wasn't like any okay. sort of actual legit cloth okay. mariachi sombrero. This right. wasn't made of suede. This was just a woven right. hay brero. Okay. All and right. what that did is allowed the hot air to pass through. I will be motherfucked. Yeah. Dude. Oh, I, dude. I, fuck. That's the good. No, that's super cool for me. That's like. Uh, it's pretty much that's closure for me, so I can I can just end her. Yeah. I can just end her. That's it. <laughs> that's it for me, guys. Uh, Bozo well, the clown we'll actually yeah. used kind of a sombrero yeah, for his no. hair. So let's start that. Is that what what did we learn today? Bozo the clown used a sombrero. Used a fucking for his hair. sombrero. Uh, I shit my pants. I shit my pants. You shit your pants. Uh, Kept it in my pocket though. <laughs> Kept it in my pocket. <laughs> and uh. You know, pretty much. That's where it's at. I don't know. That's where we are. That's who we are. That's why we are. And that's how we are, motherfuckers. This is the terrible podcast. I am Brad. I'm Nick. You go fuck yourself. Go fucking fuck yourself. Shut up.